is up welcome back to my channel my name is brooke if you guys are new here i am so happy to have you this is gonna be a week in my life in new york city if you are new here this is where i live this is my apartment welcome this is gonna be a pretty average week i'm here all week but we are doing some fun things we have a lot of fun plans i'm just in the athleisure this morning i don't plan on working out i did get this new tank top it's a curve love tank top from abercrombie so it's good for the larger chest. I think it's so cute. I will link it down below. Yeah, I've had a really peaceful morning. Got home and got right to work. We're gonna record a podcast episode in a little bit. And there's some other fun stuff planned today, but mostly like the rest of the week. I guess there's good stuff on deck. With that said, if you are new to my channel or you've been watching my videos and you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It not only supports me and my channel, but you also get notified whenever I post videos if you click the little bell. So do that because I know there are some of you who watch all my videos that are not subscribed. All right, well, I guess without further ado, let's get into the vlog. This is coffee number two. I started my morning with a hot coffee, a hot almond milk latte. So this one, we're gonna make it like a little bit smaller, but I just want something to sip on. La Cologne cold brew, oat creamer, Trader Joe's, ice cubes. Cheers. I just last minute had to get a lot of things done, but I quickly got ready. My makeup bag has makeup exploded. My palette broke, so it just was bursted all over. I had another outfit on and then I spilled it all over my shirt. So this is what we uh, came up with. The blazer is Princess Polly. White tees, cuts, Zara jeans. I've rediscovered these in my closet. And I just love them so much. I don't know what they're called. I'm going to try to find them though, because I know a lot of people have been asking, but I got them like two years ago at this point so maybe even more than two and then my white puma sneakers not bring my bag this is it and then my jennifer fisher hoops that danielle got me my makeup's not looking the best i just like don't feel the best but it's gonna be okay let's head out home from recording i just cleaned my floor i wanted to give a little book update slash book haul because i got some new books and do I have seaweed in my teeth? I also just had some seaweed. This is what I'm reading right now, One True Love by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I've read her more popular books and then people were telling me that her early books are really good. I haven't like gotten fully into it yet, but I'm thinking that there might be like a good twist or something, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm like, what did all y'all suggest this for? But here are the new books I got that I will read somewhat next, whatever. A lot of these are recommended by Kenzie, Kenzie Elizabeth. I did, I went on her podcast. I don't know when that will go up, but we talked about books for like an hour. And we just went back and forth and gave each other recommendations and did little mini reviews and things like that. I've been doing that where, where I read a lot of books and then I reflect on them. And upon looking back on them, I either like them more or less than I remember at the time. For example, Emily Henry books. I just was like thinking about them and I was like, I feel like I was always just like really nice with my reviews of those books, but I, they were just like very okay books, like nothing remarkable. Maybe I'm realizing that now that I've read books that I really, really like. I'm like, wait, considering that those books weren't that good, at least to me, and every book is subjective, you know? My favorite book could be your least favorite book and vice versa. So keep that in mind. But I think that's something to remember too, because I do little mini book reviews on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, you definitely should. Sometimes I like look back on those reviews and I'm like, wait, why did I say that this book was like pretty good when I, you know, looking back, I'm like, uh, not worth reading. But your opinions change over time. Or you remember the book differently than like you just finished it, I don't know interesting the last housewife by ashley winsteed i think i saw one of my favorite book instagrammers book club at kelsey's talk about this i've read a lot of the books that she's read and she gives a little like she gives her review she gives a summary she gives a fan cast which i really like looking at fan casts for books because it helps me visualize the characters a lot i actually like looking at that in the beginning of the book which i know is strange to some people but it really helps me with the visual aid in terms of the characters some people i guess suggest to do it afterwards whatever you know it doesn't really matter some people think it's annoying when i read the exact word for word from the book so i'll just give a brief summary oh this is about a podcast this girl's in college she meets this guy oh but he creates a web of lies but her and her friend escaped but then her friend randomly dies so she's like oh what and it's all through a true a true crime podcast and she recruits the help of the podcast host to help and she tries to uncover the truth and it like gets her in so this is like true crime true crime podcasty which i actually don't listen to true crime podcasts but i like thrillers so it don't really make sense and i will watch a like murder mystery documentary so i probably would like the podcast but i just don't listen to them this one kenzie highly suggested pack up the moon by Kristen higgins every month a letter that's what lauren decides to leave her husband when she finds out she's dying. Each month she gives Josh a letter containing a task to help him face this first year without her, leading him on a heart-rendering, beautiful, often humorous journey to find happiness again. 
Oh, that's cute. Probably gonna be sad. And then this one, Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. Uh, my mom's been reading. She is almost done with Last Mrs. Parish and she really liked it or likes it. So I tried to get her to get this book too so we could read it. I mean, she reads a little bit slower than I do, but at similar times so we could both give our reviews. All it takes to unravel a life is one little secret. Marin had the perfect life. She was married to a college sweetheart. Their son is taken. And then she finds out that her husband's having an affair. And then her husband's mistress is an enemy with a face, which means this is a problem that she can fix permanently. Oof, spooky. So those are my new books. That's the book haul portion of the vlog. Comment below and let me know what you're reading. If you're reading anything good or if you've read anything recently or what you want to read. It always gets me inspired. Actually, whenever I see like everyone's talking about one specific book, I know I have to read it. I also know the new Colleen Hoover book comes out. It starts with us um, and I pre-ordered that. So it should come any day now. So that will also be in the, the reading repertoire. For now, I'm going to relax and read this for a little bit. Making soup for dinner because I really can't be bothered to do much else. So this is Trader Joe's lentil soup with ancient grains, it's really good. I'm heating it up in a pan though, so that's, that's better than, I mean, I'm sure it would still be good in the microwave. But I actually have just been booking flights. That's what I've been up to. I'm going to Atlanta in December for a little bit to see my college friends. And then I'm booking um, my friend's bachelorette trip in the new year. So I've just been booked, <laughs> LOL. I'm excited. So coming up, we have my friend Sarah's wedding in Nashville. I'm going to Florida for Thanksgiving. We always do like a destination trip for Thanksgiving, but now we have the house in Florida, which is very exciting. So it will be me, my mom, my dad, my brother. I like to spend a lot of time in New York during the holidays. So I'll be here for a lot of it. And then Atlanta for just a little bit. Come on. I kind of have been more of a homebody this past year. I think it's just because I've been very happy <laughs> with my life here. This is like deep, but I, I used to use travel as a means of like coping, which I was always so fortunate to have that privilege. Even in college, like when I was making some money from YouTube, I used a lot of my own money on buying myself flights to go home or, of course it's so important to see family. Like I don't regret that at all. But even actually in early college, I would use it as a coping mechanism. Like if I wasn't happy or if I felt uncomfortable, I would always book a flight. Like I would be like, okay, I'm gonna go see my grandma or I'm gonna like go home or random trips with you to friends, whatever. Obviously living in Boston, I did that a lot too. And then, you know, COVID happened, I couldn't travel, whatever. But then I think in the past year, like when things have, you know, started to open up, whatever, I've just been very content kind of in my own life. So I stopped looking for travel as much in terms of like, actively seeking out opportunities obviously i've done i actually did a lot this summer i feel like but like i've just been very happy and content here and like having a good time here and i'm happy to be like home and in my not that i have a crazy routine but you know like in my space in my routine in this incredible apartment obviously like here we go heating up soup with the empire state building good night to me that's growth is like recognizing that i used to be that way and i used to joke about it like catch flights not feels ha 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 like and just be like kind of like living this like kind of chaotic nomad not nomadic life but like if that doesn't work out i'll book a flight next week whatever and now i'm like not doing that and i think it's been very good for me but with that being said i've almost been like apprehensive to travel as much which is not good so i want to get back to a place where i have a healthy relationship with travel and i'm not using it as like a means of like running away from my problems or anything like that but more so for fun i'm really excited for the soup i want to heat up some sourdough bread to have with it too I, like sat down hours ago said i was gonna read and then i just started like texting and talking to people and then i booked these flights and then somehow the day slipped away from me i just remembered i have sour cream and something about sour cream on top of chili something about this combo it hits i'll tell you that much just a little bit on there easy dinner just a piece of bread gorge Nothing crazy. I mean, I want to make a chili soon. I like vegetarian, I think a little bit better. Sometimes I like turkey chili. Sometimes it gets a little dry though. Amazing. I think I'm going to try to go to the farmer's market this weekend in Brooklyn for the first time. So maybe I can get some ingredients to make a chili. That would be very wholesome of me. I'm like spiraling and I can't tell if this is in a good way or not. I think it's in a good way, but it's just like a lot to process right now. I just found my old YouTube channel. I have had it for a while, but I haven't like really sat down and watched all the videos, especially the ones where I'm like talking. I've watched a lot of like the music videos. If you don't know, I started YouTube on another channel like 15 years ago. I started very, very early YouTube. I mean, even this channel I've had for a while. So I had another channel, I quit, and then I like started this one. Completely separate, but 
I found those videos and I'm like finally sitting down and watching them and like literally me and my like early vlogger days I feel weird like I'm trying to decide if I should show them or not because it's like me and all my friends from high school I think it's very like cute and innocent so maybe I'll show you some clips but Danielle and I talked about like old YouTube and stuff on the podcast today and kind of walked everyone through like our stages with it and everything and wow I am just like this is crazy. This is an old school mall haul. I'll show you some clips. And it's just very meta. This is like literally, I mean, how old was I 12? Like, let me ask Siri. What was 12 years ago? It was 2010. Holy shit. So I was in like seventh grade, maybe. I hadn't gone through puberty yet. I look different, but also the same. And it's funny because I go through different stages with like going through it where I'll, I used to be like so critical of myself back then and be like wow like i glowed up but now i look back and i'm like this is like middle school i just was happy i really liked my outfits and putting together outfits and stuff and i th i think it was so cute and innocent that like this is what i was doing like that is so pure i mean the fact that i like kept up with it and i'm still doing it that to me reaffirms the fact that I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing. Like I've been doing it for all of those years and I have always loved it so much. I don't know, it's kind of like trippy to think about because I know not everyone's journey with like the internet, especially like content creators, it's very different. You know, some people it's like, I literally posted a video and like got lucky and then like kept with it. And you know, other people it's like, I don't really know how I got into it, whatever. Me, I'm like, it was very intentional from the start. Like not that I wanted to like make a ton of money or whatever, but just, I always loved it. I always loved like the idea of vlogging and like, you know, people watching it and stuff. I, I can't, I'm meant to be doing what I'm doing, if that makes sense. And it's like weird that watching this makes me feel that way, but just seeing like the innocent, like joy in my face of like literally doing this in my hotel room, like, and I have no recollection of even doing this, kind of cool. This is my best friend, Danielle, um, from home, high school, whatever. Her name is also Danielle, so it's very cute. But this is just like a little clip of me saying. <laughs> Adorable. Then they have like these little grab bags, which is only $1. And like I figured, why not? Because it's only $1. I mean, you think that was pretty cheap. So, my <laughs> Pretty cheap. You cannot get anything for a dollar now. A piano on the front, and we're playing the violin on the back. I used to play the violin too. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. You cannot tell me that is not the purest thing. Like, I'm talking about like my little notebook and stickers that I got for a dollar at the Hello Kitty store. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> morning we're getting ready for a super fun mall day finally danielle and i are doing our proper fall mall day i'm gonna leave here to pick her up in like an hour so let's get ready i curled my hair with the air up and now it's time for makeup i feel like i keep plugging this video but i did a video on how i am doing my makeup currently so if you're curious you should go watch that because that's when I like really break it down. Okay, quick outfit. I'm gonna, I think, leave the jacket in the car. I want to dress comfy because I'll probably be trying on some clothes and stuff, but the jacket is Aritzia. The sweater, I really like it. It zips up from the bottom and the top. It's from Abercrombie. I think it's very cute. Zara jeans again, and then Birkenstocks. I just ate an apple, or I like tried to cut it, but well, I took a bite of it and my teeth were kind of sore and sensitive, I think from the crust white strips which makes sense because I'm biting into a freezing cold apple. So I was like, ooh, I'm gonna cut it up really good. I always forget how good like fresh apples are. Mm, delicious. They're peak season right now. I'm gonna do a little lip liner, Pat McGrath, then this MAC lip gloss in Spice. Cool. All right, I am actually picking Danielle up. So let's go get my car and pick her up. All right, guys, we're here in the parking deck now. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. We're gonna be uh, real Northern girls and leave our coat in the car because you know that is, yes. Oh, is that like a Northern thing? Cause it's, if you think about it, the temperature, it's, you don't want to walk around the mall with a heavy jacket. Cause then it's, oh, no. you know, it's 70 degrees and you're walking around with your winter coat. Like that doesn't. No, that does not no. compute. Brooke picked me up at my apartment. I did. I that swerved right in. I swerved. <laughs> it was pretty smooth drive, except for getting stuck behind, uh, like some sort of like fire department situation. Yeah, I was like, like oh, swerve. Yeah. <laughs> that that, that, that situation always stresses me out though. Yep. When they're coming from behind uh -huh. and to the side and you're like, where do you want I me know, to go? I know. I usually just like stay put unless they're like beeping at me and then i'm like okay i'll slide to the right and it's a so. stressful situation to be in we're gonna go shopping um danielle's doing a whole haul i wonder if that will be up first on your channel it'll be up um, on this sunday oh wow okay so it's already up when this video goes up so go watch um our mall haul mall whatever i cannot wait to go to bath and body works at the american dream <laughs> i literally love it here i assume like maybe we'll grab lunch at some point question mark? yeah i would like a starbucks too like oh, not yeah. that's not lunch that's like like you pumpkin. know like maybe i would like to hold my yeah 
I was expecting you to pick me up with like your huge venti like pumpkin spice. I haven't been. I've been making my coffee at home. You, you know? are just yes. so. I've been really growing cool. up. Also. I don't know if you like started this, but it was at Whole Foods yesterday and they have whipped cream, but then I looked up closer to it and they call it coffee topping now or something. Oh, so there's like, like a line of things that are, yes. But it was, it was your thing, how you always just do the whipped yes. cream and they, I'm sure. I think they copied you. you. And well, they go, well, you. we'll just call. It's literally yes. the thing. Like if you go to Dunkin' and you get a cold brew with cold foam, uh-huh. they literally use a can. Like they use like a whipped cream. I love cold foam. That's like my favorite thing on a coffee is like the, the layer on top of like, and it melts in. Oh my gosh. I What is your order? Like, I don't even know what to get right now. Like I haven't gotten Oh, it. I guess I'll get a pumpkin cream cold brew. It's almost holiday time. Damn. We can come here and go Christmas shopping. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're in altered state. Um, there's some interesting finds here. I love me some <laughs> ranch. I'm obsessed. Is this Betty White? Because if so, I. It must be right. It must be. Yee. Ha. I love this section. Anyone order shrimp cocktail? <laughs> Son of a nutcracker. <laughs> Why do I feel the need to touch everything? I really oh, every, don't that's why we're know. At the today. Okay, we're in Uniqlo. We're getting warm weather stuff. Everyone talks about these heat tech, and it's half the store. It's actually overwhelming. There's like so what many to options. get? Yeah. Like warm, warmer. And I know this warm. is ultra warm. Stay warm in extreme cold with heat tech featuring a. Wow. Okay. Well, I got extra warm, not ultra. And I got like two like sweaters. These are like thick. Yeah, they're thick, thick boys. Okay, now we're in the avenue. The designer subsector of the American dream. It looks like you, you're in like a Christmas movie, like the wonders. Like in a snow <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I think we might have to go downstairs to access most of the stores. I, know, I forgot. Yeah. I told Danielle this is a great mall, but a lot of it is still opening. Like so, it's. Could be so many. Stores. Yeah, there's gonna. I mean, maybe one day, right? <laughs> Someday, one day when we bring our kids here. Oh my god. We're at the food court. <laughs> What's your order? Chicken ramen from this place, Pora. They also have a Jollibee, which was tempting me, but for some reason, ramen felt right. It's a whole cold day. It's, it is a yeah, cold day. so I got, it's like mushroom ramen with crispy chicken. I don't really know what else is in it, but I saw the mushrooms and I was corn. like, yeah, it's corn. <laughs> what did you get? I, whenever I go to the mall, I go to this place called Cajun Grill. It must be a chain. Yes. And I get bourbon chicken, broccoli, and rice. It's just like nostalgic tasting. The rice looks really good. It's really good. It's She's like, it looks like like a, you know, there's vegetables in there. Like, yeah, like there's that. like yeah. and carrots. Yes. Yeah. So we just went to Spirit Halloween. I realized that I need a second costume. I'm saving my like main costume because I think it's, it's original and different and quirky, but I just got two Harry Potter like capes. Um, and it comes with like glasses. It's like a kit. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, it's cute because I could wear like a cute outfit underneath it. Oh yeah, not exactly. the cape. You what can leave it open. The jacket. Open yeah. sesame. Yes. And now we're in Primark, just looking around. This mall is great. We're having a great day. This is. We're having a grand old time. Now we're at Bath and Body Works. Danielle is getting some candles. It's so. This is giving 2020. 11, like the first time we met at the mall, like it's literally giving that day. I didn't know that they did um, like bar soap. Very cool. We just finished up. That was fun. So much fun. So much fun. They didn't have an Abercrombie. I know, we literally were like, best for last grand finale. I'm gonna teach Danielle my Abercrombie hacks because this shirt is from Abercrombie, but it sold out. We were like having this whole moment. I even checked, I was like, I'm gonna go into the Abercrombie Kids just to triple confirm, and they were I know, like, you were determined. Cause how could you have an Abercrombie Kids with no Abercrombie and Fitch? Usually there's always the Abercrombie, and then maybe there's the kids, I thought. I'm sure they're doing shocked. demographic search. Oh, I thought you were doing like Water Hall. No, like it's Dasani, that no free promo. <laughs> I know, I was going to say. <laughs> we approve of smart water. <laughs> My it's, arm hurts. It's definitely really nice to go in the middle of the day when no one's there, because the last time I went, it wasn't like so chaotic, but it was like, it was full, you know? Like it was occupied. When you were here the other day? Yes, because it was a day that a lot of people had off of school. Yeah. Well, I was telling Brooke too, it's just so big that there could have been a lot of people in there, but you just it can't just tell. Didn't feel like it. Mm-hmm. Or I mean, any, it is like a Tuesday afternoon, which yes. is why we decided to come take, we didn't want to worry about lines and stuff. Of course. But it's so big. Like she was telling me Mr. Beast did like a hundred person hide and go seek here. You have to watch it. I'm, I'm trying to get everybody to watch this video. I'll put it on my content plate. That's been working by putting things on a list. I'm like, oh, I want to watch something right now. You know? Yeah. So I'm going to do that. You should. I will. That's a cool one. Okay. Oh so God, you were like looking at this. I thought someone was right here. You no, 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 like, no. We'll lock the doors. Oh. I'm safe. <laughs> Getting me spooked. <laughs> now we're going to film a little haul for Danielle's channel because we got some Collab. stuff. Yay. Well, it's already out.
yeah, go check it out. An OG fall mall haul. My apartment, I'm just coming to terms with the fact that I hate the overhead lights. So I just always keep it dark in here. Lucky for you, I have my Amazon light. Okay, I'm back from the mall, clearly. What a fun day, seriously the best time. We did a full haul on Danielle's channel, but I'll just give you some highlights. Ben and I are gonna do Harry Potter one day. For the more like low key of the two days, um, the other outfit I have put together already, don't worry. This one was like, it was like, oh, I think we might be doing something Saturday, like let's get something for it. One hooded robe with embroidered patch and button and loop closure. Literally is only the robe. Dumb broke, okay. Well, I'm gonna order the rest of the accessories on Amazon now. Cause like, I feel like it would, I, like I wanna do the whole look, you know? So it's just the robe. I did Gryffindor just cause that's what Harry Potter is. I took the test and I got Ravenclaw. But like, I wanna, you know, we gotta do what Harry Potter is, right? I guess we'll both twin. But I think it could be kind of sexy to wear like a skirt and like maybe not a button down, but like, or I might just wear like a black dress with it all. I feel like it could be hot if I wanna spice it up. I got a dress from Zara. You can watch Danielle's video for that. And my Uniqlo stuff, I got some stuff for the heat, well, stuff for the cold that will keep me warm. Heat gear, you know? And then from Sephora, I was like, Ugh, I'm not gonna buy anything, but, cause the sales next week, but still, I got things. Really excited about this Touchland hand sanitizer. We can open this now. Oh, love that packaging. I needed a good hand sanitizer for my purse. So this is Power Mist Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. Danielle swore by them and I tried hers and I was like, wait, I'm sold. And I've been seeing everybody talk about it. I got this actually for my car and I totally didn't put it in my car. The Kosas Sport. Hyaluronic Lip Balm Lip Fuel. I got two new Summer Fridays lip balms in two different colors. I've tried this one before, got that one. And then it, just a Kosas concealer because um, mine is really low. And my camera's blinking, so I need to charge it. I need to figure out something for dinner and clearly I need to order the rest of the accessories for this Halloween costume, so. I have things to do. Good morning, guys. It is a chilly morning. We're walking home from KD's right now. I just recorded with Katie, Colby, and Adam for their podcast, Match Made, which is their three-person podcast. It went really well. Now I'm walking home. It is so cold this morning. I am layered up or cold. I'm wearing my Mad Happy Fleece and my jacket because it is cold. I have been linking my little heart away. <laughs> On my Instagram story, I asked you guys for links. I like to do like Q and A's or links or whatever. I really wanna to start to do that on a designated day of the week. Maybe Wednesday's a good day. I could like go back and forth and one week do links, the next week do a Q and A because I feel like I just, right now I'm doing it sporadically, which is fine and cool and whatever, but I, Wednesday could be a good day for that. I'm kind of into it. I'm gonna put that on my calendar. We'll see how long we stick to this. Tonight I'm going to the launch party for Kelly's new makeup platform, so that will be fun. I think the dress code is like cocktail, like more formal, so that's exciting. I'll start getting ready for that in a little bit. I do have a dress that I'm gonna wear, I think. And other than that, really just getting work done today, because um, I recorded with Adam, Colby, and Katie this morning, which was super fun. Our episode with Clara of Gals on the Go is up if you haven't listened to that or watched the video, um, it's super fun. And if you didn't know, we post the video of our podcast every week on the Gals on the Go podcast channel. So if you prefer to watch a video, it's fun. Um, they're usually an hour long. So if you like watch my videos, but you don't listen to the podcast, you definitely should. It's just an hour of bonus content, I guess, for you who don't listen. But I think a lot of you do. My podcast that I do with Danielle, so very fun. That's that. I need to also film some stories for Fashion Pass. So I'm like, I need to like get ready before I film everything, but I'll do that in a little bit. I feel like my skin is just kind of struggling today, which it's not always fun to have a bad skin day. Also, my skin's felt really dry, so I just put on like a ton of moisturizer and just have kind of been letting it breathe um, with the change of the weather. My skin always kind of freaks out, especially having more dry skin, but it's time to layer up on the moisturizer. Tis the season. Hi guys, getting ready now for Kelly's party. Did I say I'm going to that? This dress I found it in my closet and I realized I haven't worn it yet. And it's perfect for the occasion because it's comfortable but still chic. And I could wear it with boots and like they would only be peeping through at the bottom so I don't have to worry about like a crazy heel or anything. I don't mind wearing heels. Actually, I do like wearing heels but it feels silly to me like I'm gonna wear heels to like then just get in my car and like drive to Brooklyn. Like, I don't know. I feel like heels to me is like such a night out thing and like I'm just going to this um event and then and i'm only going for a little bit so i feel silly putting on heels i can't really rationalize that but the dress is fabulous it's from abercrombie you can't wear a bra or i mean you can wear a bra but like you know it would show in the back i don't really love sticky bras because i sweat they come off whatever and i just feel like i'm just not a, i'm not a huge sticky bra girly but it's just a black dress and it's very pretty 
I'm gonna wear it with tall boots, but you won't even see that. You'll just see the, the bottom of the boot and then maybe a jacket on top. Packing up my things then, because after that I'm gonna drive to Brooklyn. I got this new tote from Free People. It's like $70 and it is this like puffy material and it fits a ton of stuff. I have in here a whole outfit, sweatshirt. If it has a laptop sleeve, my book. I could fit a bunch more stuff in here too. I'm probably gonna put some toiletries in here, whatever. And it zips and it's just like a really good size. And it's very comfortable. I needed a black tote because I have a tan tote now. My Chanel one that I love so much, of course. But I just thought, I saw the practical cases for this and it's really cute from Free People. So I can go ahead and write this down below for you. I feel like it would be a good, it's a good like little sleepover bag or work tote, whatever you really need it to be. And I like just how minimal it is. Anyways, Buxom sent me some new lip products. I'm like, should I use one of these for tonight? I like this darker one, actually. They're gonna make my lips tingle. They always do, because they plump your lips. This is the full-on plumping lip cream. I have to look up. It's spiced Hot Toddy. I need to finish my makeup and curl my hair. Full fit check. Boots are on. I'm gonna wear this coat, but hopefully take it off. Let's head out. Chef is getting a piercing. She just has products galore out. She absolutely crushed it. And like every amazing brand, I've been wanting to try dips. Everyone in this room has made such an impact on my life here in New York. Morning, guys. I just got my nails done. I got this red color. I couldn't really be bothered to choose like a crazy design or anything. And I was like, red go is good for the fall. I'm about to go get a facial. I haven't gotten a facial in a while. I tend to not do this a lot because I have pretty sensitive skin, but I was craving a relaxing experience. And like, I, I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. I'm wearing this black shirt from Abercrombie, Splits 59, yoga pants, Birkenstocks, and I'm gonna throw on a black little jacket. I think this fuzzy one that I have from Aritzia last year. I started my morning off with a coffee and a croissant. It was nice. I'm getting all this done now and then we'll come home and, you know, get the work stuff done, etc. Nice. I feel like I never leave facials feeling like my skin actually looks good because I feel like they pick and it just gets whatever, but I just finished and it looks really good. Very glowy, but also feels like very clean. So, and that was a lovely experience. I'm still getting dressed and everything, but. Watching Tell Me Lies, new episode while I eat my lunch, which I got Chipotle. Shake it up, baby. All right, I finished One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Very meh. I gave it 3.5 stars on my five star system. I struggled to get into it in the first half and then the second half people were like, it makes it worth it, it makes it worth it. Like it makes it better, but I don't think it makes it worth it, you know? Like, uh, but I did just get something exciting in the mail. So let's go get it. I got two kits of this because I think I showed you guys in this video, but the costume that I ordered, like the Harry Potter costume, I thought that it came with this, um, not the scarf, the uh, tie and the glasses too, but it didn't. So I just ordered two packs of those. They were like $6 on Amazon. Basically, I'm noticing that if you don't get the things that are like the licensed version of it, because it's like the companies always pay to like get their thing on it. So if it says Harry Potter, the price is like absurd. If it says like Super Mario, you know, it's gonna be more. Anyways, I guess that's like licensing. They could probably come for that. But then this is the most exciting thing I got. It starts with us. Colleen Hoover came out literally like yesterday or like two days ago. And everyone's like, do you, like, have you been reading it? Like, what do you think? And not everybody, I mean like two people. And I'm like, all right, I guess it's my time. That's that. Something else that I got that's exciting is my early voting slip or my absentee ballot, whatever. Um, I'm registered to vote on Long Island, which I do need to change it to New York eventually, but I'm gonna do that when my license is up, which is soon, maybe next year. I decided to do it this way so that I don't have to go home on election day. So this is your sign to, it's literally so easy to request an early ballot. You just go online and like search for it for wherever, whatever like county you're registered to vote in is. Voting, woo! Getting in bed. I just really didn't vlog the rest of the evening, but I'm getting in bed now. Good night. I'm gonna read my book. Good morning and happy Taylor Swift album day. I'm too lazy to make a coffee this morning, so we're just having this can of La Cologne pumpkin spice. I had it the other day, it's okay. I feel like it might be better from the actual place, but we have to get ready. We have a big day. I have a Gals on the Go merch shoot today, but I'm gonna actually end off the vlog here because I don't wanna spoil any of the merch, but we have some other things besides just like clothing that we're shooting. Ah, it's also exciting. I'm gonna get my car, we're gonna drive. The studio is in Brooklyn. Danielle's gonna meet me here. But that is all gonna be in another video. So I love you guys so much. 
I also got makeup on these before and then I tried to get it out. So hopefully it comes out. It's 10 a.m. I'm like beating my face. I'm like, we have to go quick. Come on. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching this week in my life. And thank you for spending the week with me. I had a lot of fun bringing you around. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. And happy Taylor Swift Day. I will be listening. I am listening right now. Bye.